Hi everyone, hope everyone is staying well and welcome back to another series of video. As I'm revamping some part of my lab, I came across Windows Server 2022. And I said, hey, why not let's test out Windows Server 2022 as there are some interesting features that are added to the new Windows Server. And we hear a lot about SASE these days. Uh, we still need a user or identity store, whether you are uh, using application on premise and cloud. So I thought, let me try this out and do a video on it, right? Uh, I'm going to use Windows Server 2022 for a lot of my integration demo. Uh, the immediate one after this is really to show you how to use uh, 2022 Active Directory as a user store for Duo. So in this video, I'll show you how to configure uh, Windows Server 2022 as a domain controller, AD. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to sync the Active Directory with Duo. So we're gonna have some fun and hopefully uh, learn something along the way. So what I'm gonna do is click on create, create a new virtual machine. I don't think we have that listed here yet. Uh, so we're gonna select the closest uh, Windows Server 2019 64-bit, right? Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna try and enable Windows uh, virtualized space security. There are some features on the 2022 that uses TPM. So let's try this out. Click next. I'm gonna select the local storage. I'm gonna try and give it a little bit more RAM to start. And then uh, 150 gig of hard disk. I'm going to try and do two network adapter, one behind my Meraki and another one behind my FTDV, right? For those who have seen my FTDV video. Okay, I'm going to choose. Okay, now where do I choose my data store? And uh, I do have my backup handy. Is this the 2019? Yes, I've uploaded to my data store. Yes, this is the 2022 server. It's been uploaded. Com Let's select this, click next, and then finish. Okay, let's power up. Okay, I'm going to fast forward um, certain parts in the video so we make the video shorter. So I'm going to go grab a drink once I kick start the installation. Click next, install now. I'm not going to go through too much of this detail. It should be pretty similar to you know how you would install a 2019, uh, right? I'm going to enter my MSDN license key later. So I'm going to click I don't have a product key, right? Let's try out the desktop experience so it's easier. I'm going to accept since we're going to be using this for more of a testing demo lab kind of environment. So I think we should be good. Custom, I'm going to create a new, let the system auto allocate the partition. And then we're going to let the installation run. Cool, that took faster than I expected. I'm gonna give it a password. And looks good, but uh, in. Okay, let me change the host name. Easier for me. Always a good practice, you know, to give it a meaningful name, right? So when you do your DNS, when you do a troubleshooting, it's a lot easier than trying to figure out what is the machine name, especially when you have a lot of virtual machine running. Okay, that was fast. Right? Seems that Microsoft really did some pretty good tweaking. Oops. Experience has been so far so good and uh, no more 
clunky IE, right? So we have H here. So the next thing I'm going to do, um, let's allow uh, remote desktop setting. So it's a lot easier for me to copy and paste command. Okay, let's see what are the features that we need to do. Keep my PC awake. Okay, we keep that on. Uh, we do have remote desktop client. Select user that can remotely access this PC by default. Administrator access. Okay, so I'm not going to add anything for now. Okay, let's go over to my command prompt. Let's check what is my IP address. Okay, to avoid confusion during my testing, I'm going to disable my secondary adapter. So I have two network, one connected to the <coughs> Meraki environment and one to the firepower environment. So I'm going to turn off the one to firepower. Right, uh, since I'm not going to use that for uh, a video anytime soon. So let's disable this. Right, I have my IP address. Let's try and connect using. Um, nice, RDP seems to be working. Okay, let's move. Sorry for the pause, helping my son fix his Roblox issue. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just do the usual, right? We're going to manage, add roles and feature. We're going to select the role base or feature base installation. Select the server we are on to be the active directory. So what I'm going to do is to click on Active Directory Domain Services. We're going to select all the features and then click Next. Next, we're not going to touch the Azure Active Directory Connect right now. I'll show another demo on that. Let's click Next, right? And then let's click on Install. Let's see if the installation is much faster. So I think one of the cool thing about um, 2022 is that for the uh, headless um, or the installation without the uh, desktop um, GUI, uh, I think they have done some tweaking there so that for large, massive uh, upgrade through uh, command um, or, or you know automation is much faster. Uh, that will be a video way, way, way down the road, but uh, it's something that you know is worthwhile. Uh, trying out in the future. Okay, the installation looks pretty similar to 2019. The amount of time needed is seems to be about the same. Okay, we're done. Um, we can always promote this server to a domain controller here. We're going to do that. Okay, I'm going to select an internal domain. I use a prefix to my actual domain most of the time. So I can differentiate uh, the internal and the external dom uh, and the Azure AD domain. And also, if you are, you know, a little bit more adventurous and you don't mind forking up a couple of dollars, uh, you can always, uh, you know, uh, leverage on the wildcard cert that you can purchase from, uh, you know, uh, SSL providers such as uh, Komodo, right? And uh, it does help uh, to simplify a lot of the uh, implementation, especially when you're looking at the, uh, you know, uh, WPA2, uh, the PIP um, wireless 802.1x implementation, right? So I'm going to add a new forest, sorry, I n dot So for my demo purposes, I use dot, uh, I use IN. Uh, you've seen some of my other videos. I 
do change that um, you know on and off so let's go here click next interesting functional forest level 2016 so I guess you know we will be able to integrate with 2016 and above okay this is an important password uh, for production environment for test environment not so much right you know uh, worst case you know you can always spin off another instance right uh, leave the rest as it is uh, you know uh, I'm going to also uh, activate or install the DNS server uh, you know keep the global catalog on there uh, for other testing purposes okay I'm going to leave this as it is uh, okay, duty calls. Uh, okay, yep. I'm still toying around with uh, what is a good NetBIOS name. I'm going to use that for now. Oh, no. seems that uh, I have another. Okay, I'm going to give it. It's conflicting with uh, my other AD right now. Right, let's uh, give it a name that we can use later. Okay. I'll keep the default folders. Okay, once that's done, we're going to click next. You'll basically do a quick verification to make sure that we have all the necessary prerequisite. Um, read through them when you have time. I'm going to click on install and forward this part. Apologies, duty calls, Roblox issue again, right? Uh, so it seems that it's finished installation and rebooting. Let's see whether it's been rebooted. Okay. Everything looks so far so good. Okay, that took a little bit longer, but we're done. That's good news. Okay, let's look at the AD services. There are some warnings. We should be fine. There's some errors. Okay. DNS is up. Okay, nothing that needs warrants any major attention. It's very normal age service. Okay, nothing major. Okay, it looks good. So, okay, let's try and do something, right? I'm going to basically create a test group. All right, let's go here under the domain and add a group. All right, we'll call it a test group. To be up to be used to sync the users with duo later. Okay, I'm going to come here and then uh, let's go to users and create some test user. Okay, 
it's always good to create some service account or domain admin account but for this demo i'm going to skip that piece let's create a user call one let's do short form next but then never a good idea um to let password not expire so but for testing purposes is easier right to not have this password prompt every you know 60 90 days depending on a password policy <coughs> because usually i turn off my testing machine and save it into a hard disk you know and i don't use it for a while right so that's what i do right but best practices always make sure you adhere to the password policies click next finish okay i have a user configured let me try a few things uh, i'm going to allow darwin okay um okay i'm going to keep that that it is is a domain user group what i want to do is to add this to administrator okay so that i i will i can use this as my domain i mean um, account right so i don't don't need to use me my administrator account but that's always good like i said uh to have a service account uh and in future video i will show you how to look at the events and the logs right so having distinguished or you know um user account that does various tasks is good for you know troubleshooting defense uh you know uh and even exploit okay let us also add this user to our test group the trico sassy test dual group that we created okay so this will be using this uh, group for our testing uh, for the Active Directory Sync with Duo. Let's click Apply. And OK. So that's all for the um, AD configuration, right? Uh, the next video, I'll show you how to sync uh, the new Windows Server 2020 uh, Active Directory users to uh, Duo. Thank you. So thank you everyone. Stay safe and stay tuned for my next video.